case might be, what the circumstances might be, what the reasons might be for recusal. But I am absolutely committed to stepping aside on any case where I determine that I cannot be impartial based on any feelings uh, or preferences that I have for any party or any issue that's in front of the case. But if I can remain impartial, uh, the parties and the state deserve to have a full bench of justices deciding every case where that's ever possible. The lawsuit over special elections that's likely headed to the court, would you need to recuse from that or would your opponent need to recuse from that? Once again, that's a question that would be decided at that time. If I happen to be sitting on the court and the case were to come, I would need to evaluate all of the circumstances of that case to determine whether I need to recuse or not. That's not something that I can determine at this moment. The Senate leader Fitzgerald uh, said that Rogan Sack, the Chief Justice, should do something about the uh, judge who issued the order on the special election. And he also uh, said that something should be done about the judge who wrote a letter criticizing Voss. So is it appropriate for the Chief Justice to take some sort of action and admonish uh, other judges in this case? What I'm most concerned about is the judiciary, and I, what concerns me more are the statements that my opponent has been making during this entire campaign, urging voters all across the state to disrespect our state's highest court and to disrespect the Supreme Court of the state of Wisconsin. That troubles me far more than anything that happened last week. But this is, but it, uh, you got to answer this question: Should the Chief Justice get involved because a politician says he, sh he should base? she should admonish somebody on the court. This is your, this is the court, not politics now. Well, that's a question for the Chief Justice to answer whether she would take any action or not. Uh, I can tell you that in the, in the realm of our judicial code of conduct, uh, those types of disciplinary actions are meted out through a process and not through the Chief Justice just taking action unilaterally. You said the um, issue of mass incarceration of blacks is being researched. Um, aren't the numbers on that pretty clear that blacks are incarcerated at a much higher rate than whites here in Milwaukee? My understanding is that both the Marquette University and the University of Wisconsin are doing research on our incarceration trends and what, what, what the reality is and what can be done about it. And I support that research and I think that the, that research when it comes out can inform uh, the judicial branch as to whether we can do things differently. Recognizing of course that uh, the reality of, in, of incarceration involves the entire criminal justice system, all of the actors, starting with law enforcement, through the decisions made by our prosecutors and up through sentencing. Going, going, back, Thanks, to the going back to the first question, the recusal on case by case, WMC has put in more than a million helping their campaign. Isn't that enough to sort of provide a blanket uh, recusal? We have an elected judiciary, that's our system, and that system can only work when individuals and groups that wish to be engaged in the process can. And I do not believe that that participation should be stifled, that people should sit on the sidelines because they're concerned about a hyper-technical recusal rule. We've determined from uh, for the last 150 years that we're going to have an elected judiciary. Participation in those campaigns is critical to that process. Uh, thank you very much for your time, everybody. Thank you all.